Hey folks, Farm Tour Tuesday, May 2nd, 2023. So, a little bit chilly today, but not bad. Um, sun is at least out, so that's nice. And the wind has died down a little, so we're good. One of those terrible, like, Midwestern things. If it wasn't for the wind, it'd be great. <laughs> the wind has died down a little, so it's not bad. Um, and I've got my hand over the speaker, so I'm hoping that helps. Um, I'm trying to think of what all I would like to show you today. So, flip you around. So we've got payday, uh, <laughs> donut, ginger, and biscuit. And they are in this one. So this is one of those spots that floods in this back corner. Oh, this spot, normally, uh, snapping turtles like to lay their eggs in here, but right now they're not gonna have any luck. Terrible cracking, but loads of grass otherwise. As soon as you get off of it and you kind of see it's just this spot here at the back end where it dips down and the gate itself is up on the hill above it and a roll of fencing i still need to remove same as i've got over in paddock number three but they have tons this is paddock number five so what i've done is i just went ahead and shut them in here because today's tuesday right so we gotta move so they're shut in here the feeders are going to bump up from number two into number three. Um, and I bet if we move around this Osage Orange, you can see. Uh, you can't really see them. Oh, scared up. Snipe, maybe? Yeah, I can't really see them, but they're in uh, paddock number two. So they'll bump up into paddock number three. And then uh, from there, I just wanted that, like, gap of one paddock. So even though the others have had this and that one, I don't want them to be fence to fence. So they're getting split and they're they're gonna just have this paddock for now. Then they'll move over to the pond and then the feeders will move over. Oh, there goes another one. I think they're snipes. Um, not fully sure. They look like a common snipe. I haven't seen them nesting at all, though. And I don't know what a snipe nest looks like. They do love how boggy everything is here. Normally. We are supposed to get some rain this week. So these guys will shelter up here with this bunny. Hello, bunny. And then if it gets bad, it, they keep dropping the chances of rain. So if it gets bad, I'll move the feeder pigs somewhere, probably back where they were and move these guys back into there so they have that shelter. But since the rain keeps dropping, I'm not real confident it's going to be bad at all. But here we are at the pond. This will also give us a chance to fully test out whether or not Biscuit can cross. That's my biggest, like, I want to box them in over here to find out. You can see where those sticks have caught up. That's our hog panel that goes out. So it goes out and it's not real visible but it goes out as far as all those logs are. So, fingers crossed. She has not gone across. She's had access to this and has not crossed the whole time they've had access to both. So, gonna cross my fingers that it stays that way. Okay. Let's move along and head down and get the ladies and everyone else that are up front fed. And then we'll move the feeders. And I'll go ahead and walk through here so I can start talking and we'll grab them, bring them up through actually. I think that's just adding a step if I went all the way back and fed everyone else first. When I know I can just kind of let these guys through, close the gate, and then come in here and feed them. Set this bucket over from the biggins. Um, so one other interesting thing to update you on. I am waiting back to hear, I called the vet and talked to him once already. I don't know, you're not able to hear me. Hey, big ghost. Um, I talked to the vet and their person that was out on it was supposed to get back with me, but I'm waiting on final stuff for the CVI cost. But the uh, it looks like all those breeders are indeed going to go to Maryland. So as long as everything checks out on, on the buyer's end, but she seems uh, very, very excited. So I'm excited. They seem like a very nice set of people. So that'd be super, super cool. Also, once they're through, I'll take you up and show you the 
I know this is a little nicer, guys, now that it's not a muddy bog, huh? Come on, come on, come on! One, two, three, four, five of the big ones. One, two, three, four, five. Are we missing a little? Two, there it is. Come on, Tubby! Tubby, Tubby, Tubby! Come on! <laughs> come on, Tubby! Come on! <laughs> come on, Debbie. Yes, I know life is so difficult when you're so tubby. Anywho. All right, everybody's in here. Now I need to move their feed pans over, feed them, and still feed everybody up there. But yeah, looks like all the big ones, the big breeders are going to Maryland. So, hope I didn't just jinx that. Knock on wood. Okay, all right, now to get everybody cut. Still no babies from these two yet. They're getting quite large and baggy though. Feel like they've got a pop. Sometime soon, right? Ah, no extra signs there, but the shelter in here is nice and bedded down. So as soon as they're ready, they will pop. It just keeps pushing back the date of when everybody will be ready to go. Come on, oatmeal. And come on, Dottie. Just waiting on you. Alrighty. Dose and her 11 that she still has. So, you know, she'd had the 12, lost one. Still has 11, doing great. And they are a little over five weeks old now. No, a little over four weeks old, I'm sorry. Um, they just got castrated this Sunday. So the four, I got, yeah, I castrated four boys. So those four are all still doing good. The runt was a little boy. He's still holding in nice from that. Um, everybody seems to be doing good. So everybody has been evaled too and tagged as either breeders or feeders. And this whole litter is, should be now claimed. The feeders and everything, I just need to message two more people on the wait list. Um, we were waiting on one person to get a response on which one they wanted so that I could move on to message in the next couple people. But one is some feeders and, or a feeder and some breeders. So I, yeah, I need to message those two folks and get them worked out. But then everybody will have homes claimed for this litter um, because Colonial Gardens is gonna take the three gilts and the one little runt barrow. So that'll claim everyone from here. And then, yeah, we'll be good to go. And then we're just waiting on Waiting on those two. So then we can keep working our way down the list, but it does look like I'll have a little bit extra. I know I had some waitlist submissions on the website. Um, I get a little notification, but I don't, I haven't had the time to hop on and do those. And I wasn't sure, you know, what I was gonna have piglet availability wise. So now I think I'll have some available. So I need to get that taken care of. But beyond that, everybody's doing good. They'd all had, I'd close the big ladies in on the day that I did that and let uh, mama here have that whole grassy area to graze and wander around and enjoy um, for that whole day while I was doing this. And then as soon as that was all done, mid-morning, just let the piglets have it too. So they all, and they're, the fencing is fixed so they can't get in and out as they please now, which would be good because it'll make catching them in the two weeks when everyone goes home a little easier because everybody will wean at six weeks and go home. But there we go. Now to move on and do the last two groups. Need to feed the boys. And I moved the feeders as you just saw, but now we need to feed them, so. Okay, the boys have been enjoying plenty of backyard time. We just opened that gate down there and let them graze in the backyard. Thankfully they have really not messed with the willows back there yet. Cause they're, you know, with their young sprouted, you can see through the knobs. Oh my gosh, boy. Yeah, he just came right up behind me and scared the crap out of me. Yeah. What? Oh. I was looking at the willows and thinking about that. He's totally fine. He just startled me. Yes, man. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Oh. What? What? And I didn't separate their bowls. They carried one in here. So that's on them. He's very noisy. He's fine. He's gentle. He's just noisy, and so he huffs and 
And so, yeah, so when he walks right up behind you, he's silent otherwise. So you don't hear him until he is right on your butt. And then you're like, oh God. As far as the mulberries go, I think some of them are gonna make it. We lost about, I've been checking them every day that I do chores with them. It looks like we lost about a third, but the others have made it. We've had two more days of frost this week, which I thought was just absolutely crazy. It has affected the little willows. So the pollards in the pollard or the coppices have taken a little bit of a beating in the plantings. Interestingly enough, not in the backyard. So not none of the established um, stuff that has been established for more than a year has seemed to take a beating, but it's just this, this stuff that was planted last year and this year. Everything else is sturdy enough that it's doing okay. And then these two guys are of course doing fine. Isn't that right guys? Yeah? Ugh. Mr. Copa and Ed the Tubby. They both look alike. One's a boy, one's a girl as far as the tubbies go. So there are little Cooney Cooney throwbacks. They look like Cooney Coonies is what I mean. Yeah. All right. Let's go feed the feeders before they lose their minds. All right. So you saw them moving over here. So no point in showing you them eating. Uh, but you can see you know, the feeder or the breeders did eat down up and around the shelter area. But as we get further out, there's still plenty of grass. Stuff's still coming in. I know that they're going to eat these couple of willows that have tried coming back. But... This will give this a good little clear out. And then uh, next week they'll move over to the next one, which has tons and tons of grass. So this will kind of get hit a little harder than I want, but they may, depending on how bad the rain is, they may have to bump back to the one they were just in, which has more grass. So, but that's mostly just because this one, you know, it gets those flooded areas. That floods, that floods. Cause this runs down like, whoops. This runs down like that and ties in. That area runs off there and ties in. So this paddock always has a little bit less because of all these boggy areas, which now are just bone dry, but we do have rain coming this week. So yeah, that is it for this week. Um, if you are local, we do still have four hole and halves available. Just hit me up. I need to make a couple posts on social media, pushing them a little harder because I need to get them in ASAP. Oh, it's a neighbor's cat hiding in the grass. All right. With that, I think we'll wrap it out, folks, so that I can hop on back to my next job. So you guys have a great week. Thank you to our Patreon supporters, Raymond and Ashley Hunter. Everyone else, have a great week.